Supergirl issue 28 sees Kara deal with the warped and monstrous clones of herself Harry Hokum has set up on the Omega Men's base. The Omega Men also battle the clones of their two traitorous members. Kara is forced to bring out Rogal Zar's axe and begin battling the clones, focusing on staying in control of her anger so the axe doesn't get the better of her. Ryander joins the battle with Kara, but the clones begin proving difficult to handle. Light years away, Xander loses track of Kara's signal and tells Crypto it's too dangerous to go back to Gandello's ship. It doesn't take long, however, until Crypto alerts the Kaluan to a new signal found by the computer. Kara, meanwhile, tries to reason with the clones, knowing that if there is a part of her in them, they will listen. She's proven wrong, however, since all they want to do is try and kill her and her friends. Kara tells Ryander she needs a solar boost, so the Tamar Iranian kisses her, apologizing since that was the quickest way he could give her solar power. With the boost, she lets out a sonic clap, which quickly disables the clones. Kara, however, finds that they are dying, and she's surprised since the clap wasn't powerful enough to kill them, only disable them. She soon sees that they are unstable at a cellular level and they are breaking down. Kara knows that someone will pay for this, and that someone is Harry Hokum, who is furious his clones have failed him. He demands his team to get his ship clear before Supergirl arrives, but it is too late, as the very angry, axe-wielding Supergirl crashes through his ship. Sealing up the breach, Kara says that unlike Hokum, she is no killer, but she will make him pay for what he has done. Grabbing him, she demands to know where the Kryptonian cloning tech came from, learning from the coward that he knew what the Circle did to Krypton, so he blackmailed them into giving him strip mining rights to Krypton, allowing him to get the tech from the planet's wreckage. Hokum Hokum tries to stab Kara with a hidden knife, but she stops him as he's teleported away, leaving only his severed hand and a crystal ring with her. Ryander also boards the ship and alerts Kara to the clone lab, which is filled with monstrous creations. Angered at what has become of the science of her people, Kara freezes the entire lab, smashing it to pieces. Hokum is teleported to Gandello's palace, where he finds the crystal woman disappointed in him for revealing the Circle's secrets. She orders Harkman to to kill Hukum, and the alien does, ejecting him into space. Kara meanwhile rests as Callista brings her some food. Kara wonders what will happen to the cloned Omega Men, since they could be in a similar state as the Supergirl clones. Callista says that they will stay in stasis until they can figure out if they really are their real friends. Kara hopes they do, and Callista says all they have now is hope. As Kara leaves, Ryander catches up with her, wanting to again apologize for the kiss. Kara says that it was actually quite nice, and Ryander asks if she wants another recharge, except this time he will do it the easier way, which is holding Kara's hands. As she is given her solar energy, Xander and Krypto arrive. Elsewhere, Gandello contacts the Ranian and Thanagarian members of the Circle, telling them that they need to conceal their part in the Circle's doings since the galaxy isn't intelligent enough to understand the decisions of the group. The Thanagarian says Rogalzar acted on his own when he destroyed Krypton, and they have nothing Nothing to hide in regards to its death. Gandello calls them fools and cowards, but the men tell her to cease her operations. Ending the transmission, the woman orders her message to be sent out across the galaxy, that she wants Supergirl dead and doesn't care who does it. On the very far reaches of civilization, the cult of Rogalzar is called to arms to find Kara Zor-El and kill her in the name of Rogalzar. Supergirl issue 28 saw Kara's team up with the Omega Men come to an end as she itches close to learning about the Circle and their reasoning for letting Krypton get destroyed. I enjoyed seeing Kara fighting warped versions of herself and trying to keep to her code of no killing while also trying not to succumb to the power of Rogal Zar's axe. Adding in Ryander as someone who might be a partner both romantically and professionally to Kara's life is interesting and hopefully he sticks around long enough to maybe come back to Earth with Kara and meet his sister who everyone seems to forget that he exists and to be fair he hasn't been in a comic for a very very long time but I'd be interested to see him sort of come back to Earth and maybe become a part of the heroes of Earth. I'm going to give this issue a 9 out of 10. 
Hey everyone, thanks for watching my newest video. If you enjoyed it, you might also like to check out my other reviews here on my channel. You can also follow me on various social media platforms like Twitter by searching Matt underscore FOS or even join the Comic Multiverse Discord server and chat with other comic book fans including myself and Joel from Cape Joel. Want cheap comics and trades? Head over to the book depository with the link in the description to get the cheapest trades and comics comics around, along with free shipping anywhere in the world. Until next time, this has been Matt of the Fortress of Solitude, thank you so much for watching.